Hello guys, this is Engineer Leo Ramos of College of Engineering and Computer Technology of Wesleyan University, Philippines. Today, we're going to discuss a series of communication systems, laboratories, and experiments. Hello guys! Welcome back again to another Communication Systems Laboratory series. Last time, we performed line encoding technique. Today, we're going to perform line decoding technique. Line encoding technique is usually done at the receiver side, which is the opposite process of line encoding technique which is done at the transmitter. And to do that, we're going to utilize again our Di Lorenzo modules. We're going to utilize our DL3155M62 modules and our auxiliary modules, which is the DL31M62A. And for today's experiment, we need to, to have our two digital oscilloscope. We're going to utilize the connectivity on the last experiment with an additional of two connecting wires for the regenerator circuits. And to do that, we have, again, connect our power supply to our external auxiliary circuits. We're going to utilize, again, our uh, channel 1 for our data, channel 2 for our clock, and our external triggering. So same configuration last time, but we're going to utilize the second oscilloscope that is to view the output waveform and compare it with the previous one. And for today uh, experiment, we need an additional wires. So we're going to connect it on one of these output uh, generators. So for this experiment, we're going to show you the Manchester. So we're going to put the output of Manchester into a clock regenerator and you're going to put our clock regenerator output into a receiver clock. So because this Manchester can be found on this particular module. And we have an additional wires to connect it by having the Manchester output. Okay, Manchester output into our data in. Okay, where we can find our Manchester output. So the, the logic probe of the second oscilloscope will be connected into the output of our Manchester so I can uh, choose so that is the Manchester output here and it should be grounded so you can put the ground anywhere in the modules because the ground is uh, already connected to each other and I can verify the input of our data here okay and ground it into the nearest grounding system. So I can put it here. And that is how you connect our circuits. Okay, let's verify and view the different waveform of our different line decoding technique. Let's power on our power on button on this T Lorenzo module as you can see this is our signal waveform for our decoding press the auto set button this is our first decoding technique which is the return to zero so as you can see here this is the output of uh, decoding technique 
And this is our output of the decoding technique, which is the return to zero line encoding waveforms. Under this auxiliary, you could set up to a clock rate of 2400 Hz with a bit length of 15 bits. So as you can see, there is a changes now on the waveform. And uh, to visualize it, we can have uh, pressing the run stop button so that is our return to zero decoding signals or waveform so this is now equivalent to the encoding technique before that we done before so it is a return to zero so as you remember this is reference axis Every time that there is a logic 1 present the input, it will be returned back 0. That is from the previous experiment. The same with the logic 0. It is uh, having a delay here. So, so there is uh, a bit uh, distortion of the signal. But if you can have to move the signal to the equivalent position, that would be fine. Wow! So, we can have also another kinds of signals, decoding technique. So, this is the non-return to zero. So, you can uh, change our channel to fro to see our decoding technique signals that is we done before. So, this is our waveform for a non-return to zero decoder. So, pressing the run stop. So to appreciate the waveform so this is the waveform remember that this is the original signal before that uh, we get on this experiment so so the output of the uh, decoding technique will be the input of our encoding technique so if you have a bit zero so the answer is bit zero and you have a bit one and it will be also a bit one there. For a line decoding technique that is equal to non return to zero, so the input data will be the same as from the previous experiment. Wow. So you can have another the Manchester decoder. So this is the waveform for Manchester. Uh, just press the run stop. So this is the waveform for our Manchester decoding circuits. So this is our output data. So this is the same as the input of the decoding circuits before. This is our output of the decoding circuits. Wow. We can have also the biphase. So run stop. So this is the waveform of our biphase. This is our the output and this is the original input uh, from the decoding. So this is a uh, waveform is logic one. So remember that the logic zero is uh, Z and the inverted Z would be for logic one. So that is another signals. So we can have also the dual binary waveform. So in a dual binary waveform, we can remember that the different levels of uh, signals for every uh, logic zero and logic one. So this is our decoded circuits, which is a logic uh, one data, one and zero. So we have also the different levels of waveform in input. Amazing! So lastly would be the BPSK. So the BPSK signal, as you can remember on our encoding technique, so you can see the output variation. So let's have uh, put the front stop button. So this is the waveform of our uh, decoding circuits on the uh, blue portion and the red portion will be our uh, encoding technique output. So that would be the results of a different line decoding technique.
more educational videos regarding communication system, please like, subscribe, and share this channel.